Round number 11, Tim Ryan and Gil Clancy ringside here at the Cobo Arena. And between rounds, Gil, they were working on the left eyebrow of the champion, Hilmer Kenty. We have not seen any blood there, but Emmanuel Stewart putting a real good squeeze on it. Well, Tim, it, well, it must have had a good swelling there because Manny Stewart just kept putting pressure on that cut, uh, or not the, excuse me, the bump the entire round. And it seemed to bother him a little bit. Yeah, he winced as uh, Emmanuel Stewart was putting the pressure on. So far, no further problem with the cut on the left side of the forehead of Fernandez, but he just takes a good straight right hand from the champion, Kenty. Toe to toe, Tim. Toe to toe. Kenty lands another good right hand. Now going down below. Not landing cleanly in this exchange. He got nailed himself with a right hand. He's got to stay there. He's got to, he went underneath. He should stay underneath. Left hook landed from Kenty. What a tough guy this Villamar is. He's not only a smart fighter, but he's a tough guy, Tim. He sure is. Kenty sure knows it. Right hand lead landed from Kenty. Didn't have a whole lot of snap on it. He was backing up. Left hook. Look at this. Fernandez landed two of them. Didn't have much power on him, and he may be running out of gas a little bit here. Uh, Kenty's not exactly fresh as the daisy either, Tim. <laughs> well, you're right about that. He's now doing a little resting on the ropes. Fernandez trying to take advantage over there. Good combination from Kenny and barely moved Fernandez. This has become a war here in the 11th. Keep punching with him. Keep punching. Fernandez cornered, hollering, keep punching with him. Under a minute to go, round 11. Well, the boxer turned Tiger this round. Got to be partly out of frustration that he hasn't been able to really hurt Fernandez. With pulling out all his stops. He's a fighting champion. He wants to look good doing it in there. Villamar is tired too. They're both tired. Kenty's punches carry a little more sting. Domination from Kenty scoring and Fernandez trying to rally there to the body. A lot of leather thrown in this round. Fernandez just leaping up at him to reduce that reach advantage. Uh, we mentioned earlier, Tim, his best chance was inside. Take those big, long arms away from him. Just scored a good left, but he didn't hurt Kenny with it. Now he backs him up. Right hand on the we button there from Tim. Fernandez. Crowd on its feet here at the Cobo Arena. Final seconds of the 11th round. Toe-to-toe -to -toe in the center of the ring. Round number 12, the fans here in Detroit gave that last one to Kenty, and they've got him well out in front, as you can see. But I tell you, if the uh, judges are seeing it that way, uh, that would be sheer coincidence. And uh, also, they would be according Mr. Kenty well-earned points because he has had to work awfully hard. Tim, the way I have the fight scored, Villamar can't win it unless he scores a knockout. Now, when a fighter is tired, he's easy to hit with jabs. I think Kenty could just breeze in out if he just snaps that jab and doesn't get his Irish up and start putting flat trade and punches. Because anything can happen when you're tired. And they're both tired. There's some Irish in Hilmer James Kenny. Well, <laughs> <laughs> he fights that way, Tim. <laughs> there, he just staggered Bill, Bill Amar with a good right hand. Yes, he did. This is the 12th round. He's on the attack. Fernandez just dropped his hands. Saying, here, hit me. What a tough guy. What a round that 11th one. And was. he's getting hit, Tim. He said, hit me, and he's getting hit. The champion trying to finish him off here, but it is a tough task. We have the champion well ahead, not as far ahead as the Detroit crowd here does. But he wants to put Fernandez away, and it is very difficult indeed. Fernandez backed up Kenny with a combination. Well, as you say, Hillman wants to get him out of there. He's not content with a points win. That's what makes managers nervous. He's winging all the time. Fernandez showing fatigue, but showing plenty of heart as always. Tim, so uh, Hill McKenty's had two easy title defenses. This is a tough, hard fight. This is going to make a much, much better fighter out of Hill McKenty. Remember, this champion is just 25 years old. Born in Columbus, Ohio. Good right hand from the champion, and Fernandez just kept coming right after him. Under a minute to go, round 12. Look 
Mike Villamar, I just can't believe the way he can be so relaxed and just slip those punches. He's just marching in. Not Here throwing it up, though. Not throwing it up punches. Doesn't have too much left, Tim. Nope. Plenty of courage, and he still has some strength, body strength, but no snap in the punch. Under 30 seconds to go on the 12th round of the scheduled 15 round championship fight. It's really slow motion now, Tim. Slow motion for Villamar. Good combination inside from the champion. All that does is bring Fernandez back. Although he didn't land anything until that left uppercut. Final seconds of the 12th round. Round 13, the champion in white, Hilmer Kenny. Villamar Fernandez in blue, the challenger. A very tired looking Kenny between rounds, Gil. Well, Kenny had a great round in the 12th round, Tim, but when he sat down, he really looked exhausted. They were worried in his corner. Fernandez just staying in there. Hasn't really been terribly effective over the last couple of rounds. That war in round 11 we gave to him. There's that jab that I was talking about, Tim. When a guy's tired, you can really hit him with jabs. Kenny could just use that jab, rest himself, and win around easily. Remember, coming up the finals of the NFL cheerleader competition at the conclusion of this fight, here on the CBS Sports Spectacular. Crowd wants him to knock him out, but he's just better off just scoring points, taking his championship out of the ring with him. Well, as we see it, that should not be a problem. The partisan crowd here also shares that thinking, and uh, we can only assume that the judges do at this point. One from Detroit, one from Panama. The referee also scoring each from Puerto Rico. Fernandez is certainly going to fight until the very end of this one. His second title chance. He lost to Roberto Duran in his first opportunity when Duran was the lightweight champion. Villamar's back moving around again. Not showing enough offense, though, Tim. No. Hasn't been busy enough the last couple of rounds. Uh, his corner, I think, knows he's behind. They told him two rounds ago that he had to get busy. And it's tough to get past that long left jab at Kenty's. It really is. Well, it's always easier for the corner guys like you to say get busy, too. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and then get out of the ring. <laughs> Good combination scored by the champion, Kenty. Under a minute to go, round 13. Overhand right landed from Fernandez. He has Kenty hurt, Tim. He has him hurt. I think he's just tired. No, he's Tim, well, tired, whatever you want to call it. He's in a little bit of trouble. Good right hand by Fernandez. Good Trying to get a look into the eyes of the champion to see if he's still sharp and alert. It's hard to tell. Well, we pointed out between rounds, Tim. He looked very, very tired. Look now at those legs. they wobbling. Definitely wobbly. And Fernandez being very workmanlike right now. Trying to get clean shots in 30 seconds oh, to go. Oh, there's grabbing. He's, he's in a little trouble. When you're tired like that, go. one good wrap, you know, and you can go. His legs are very oh, well. He, he looks like he has a cramp or something. Down he goes. The champion, Kenty. Almost looked like he had a cramp in his leg, Skill. Maybe, Maybe that's just exhausted fatigue. is what it is. Total leg fatigue. Good right hand to the body, left hook. Now we could go home. Final seconds. They missed that left hook. That was the big one, Tim. feverishly on that cramp and let's see if it's been able to work it out dramatic turnaround here this is round 14 Tim I had Emil Griffith box Luis Rodriguez in Los Angeles he got a cramp in his leg he says Gillies I can't walk I say Emil either I stop the fight or just go stand in the corner let the rope support you and try to get through the round until the cramp goes away now, I don't know how bad sh shape the helm is in but Griffith managed to survive it at the time. He he's dancing little, he's dancing he looks a little looser now Fernandez of course trying to press that advantage Thomas Hearns uh, sitting next was uh, concerned, and a lot of the Kenty crowd has come down close to ringside. They saw the champion suddenly in trouble after having this fight in control. This well, is the 14th round. He's trying, Tim. He's showing cl championship class, moving around there pretty good. Still throwing plenty of punches, too. Fernandez's chance now is to land the one big one, put him back in trouble again. And his Kenty, he's moving pretty good on that leg. Well, they did a good job in the corner. They went right to it, went right to that calf muscle, Emmanuel Stewart, working it 
hard, needing a muscle, trying to get it loose, and it looks like they've done a good job. Fernandez attacking, attacking here. Hillman starting to slow up again, Tim. Starting to slow up. Yes, he is, Tim. Yes, he is, and it's hurting him again. He's really slowed up. Fernandez can sense it, but he just has been unable to deliver well, the punishing blows. He's got to put two together, Tim. And show him one underneath and hit him on the chin. That's his best chance. The first punch isn't going to do it. 28-year-old challenger, Vilamar Fernandez, who, as we saw, it was well behind, despite a scrappy effort. We had Kenty comfortably in front. Well, Villamar's not going to win it on a decision. He's got to win it that way. He's got to nail him. Right hand landed. Kenty leaning back on the ropes. I don't know why they didn't score a knockdown in that last round when the champion oh, went down. Helmer, again, those legs just started. Look at those legs. Well, Villamar's tired, too. That has the effect, Tim. If he was a fresh fighter now, it would be all over. There's raw courage out there by both these fighters at the moment. They're both dead beat. Overhand right, wasn't much on it, still moved Kenty. Well, that's the legs. They aren't there anymore, Tim. We're in the 14th round. It's been a war since the 11th. But the dramatic turnaround in round 13. Good right hand by Kenty. Boy, Tim, these guys both have championship heart. seconds of the 14th round. Oh, no. Oh, no, Good left landed. Round 15, the champion did not sit down between rounds. He's desperately trying to keep those legs loose, so he did not sit down. The final round. Tim, for a guy that was in trouble, he sure was confident. He was dancing around between rounds and leading the crowd in the cheer. Maybe those legs aren't as bad as, or at least the cramp, not as bad as we thought it was. I think he just got hurt by the punches. That and the combination of the cramp and the tiredness is what did it to him. Well, I got to believe he stayed on his feet, though, to make sure that he kept those legs loose. You can get that cramp back. Rather than sit down, he didn't want to risk that. That's my guess. We'll find out after the fight. This is the 15th round. The champion, as we see it, is ahead well enough on points, but he was in desperate trouble with the leg cramp and a knockdown that was not counted, oddly enough, by the referee, Volomer Schmidt. Appeared to be a clean knockdown as we saw it. This is the final round. A fight that has just built in its drama from the opening round. A gallant effort by both fighters. The champion in front of his hometown crowd. Again, for, for Fernandez to get back and win this fight, he has to nail him with the one big punch and then really attack and get him out of there. Those little punches like that are not going to do it. He's got to show him a punch to the body and then hit him on the chin. Otherwise, he can forget about it. That's, and as you say, it's easier to say than do. A slip by Kenty there. They're just, they're both so tired. Now the legs are starting to go again, Tim. Starting to go again. Of course, Villamar doesn't have too much gas either. Good well, punching by Kenty. Finishing up like a champion, Tim. He sure is, but he just can't seem to set himself properly. I've got to believe that leg is still bothering him. He's in control again, Tim. Nice combination by Kenty. Right hand underneath, left hook. Good sharp left hook that landed the chin. The challenger, Fernandez. We've got a minute to go on the fight. I don't think Kenty's going to want to see Fernandez again too soon. Well, I would like to see Fernandez with a fight or two under his belt, as we mentioned before. Hasn't fought since last February. But he has fought here this afternoon. Hillman's not going to give up that championship this afternoon, Tim. No, he sure isn't. He's doing what he has to do here. He's staying busy enough, and he's making sure he isn't getting the big one landed against him. Under 30 seconds to go in the fight. 25 seconds, baby! Fifteen seconds to go. Well, it can no longer be a knockout, Tim. And that's it. It's all over.